You are trying to hook up with the hottest girl without even knowing her name. The problem that many businesses have is that they can't close the sale. Whether you are a restaurant, a gym, an online store, it all comes down to the same problem. Your product is good, your service is needed, the price is fair, but users don't seem to want it. So what the hell is going on, you might be thinking. If everything sounds right, what's wrong? Well, I don't know if you have business, if you have a B2B or B2C, but I bet that you are trying to make the sale within the first two minutes, right? And without even finding out, uh, I don't know if that person is looking to buy your product or your service at all. That's the problem. That's where the problem is. Um, you are trying to hook up with the hottest girl without even knowing her name. Or even knowing if she likes women or she likes guys. That's why you first need to show interest in your client. And the best way to do it is by asking a lot of questions. And I mean a lot of them. Going back to the last example, you need to flirt with your customers. Uh huh. Before, before you try to sell them something. Just like you would with that hot girl that you want to hook up with. I mean, I believe you didn't ask her to marry you before asking for her name, right? I mean, I hope you didn't. That sounds crazy, right? So the sales process is a two-way conversation and a long-term relationship. With this, I mean that you need to figure out and you need to find out what could motivate your customer to give you their money. Is it the product? Is it the color? Is it the price? You need to find out what's the pain that you can cure with that product or with that service. I'm not saying that you can't go straight to the sale. But keep in mind that any kind of business doesn't just need first-time customers, but repeat customers, which means you can get away with one unwanted sale, but not with two. So flirt more and sell less. That's my advice.